everyone and welcome back to Claire Cookie Crumb Fun. I am Claire and this is Cookie Crumb Fun. On my channel on Mondays I talk all about Trim Healthy Mama. So today's Monday, that's what we're going to talk about. I've started a new series a few weeks ago about reviewing recipes of Trim Healthy Mama bloggers. There are so many bloggers out there, aren't there? Out there, aren't there? If you have a Trim Healthy Mama blogger that you would like to maybe have me review a recipe from, I would love for you to comment below and tell me which blogger and which recipe, if it's something that you're not sure you want to try, or it's something that you're you're curious about, or if it's a blogger that you haven't tried any of her recipes about, I would love for you to, to go ahead and do that. And uh, last two weeks, I've done some recipes, and this week, I did the recipe I was going to do last week. Last weekend, it was way too hot. It was like 114 degrees, and there was no way I was going to be turning my oven on. So this week... I worked on the recipe and so this last Wednesday I made the cookies that I wanted to make they are I have my tablet here with the recipe name on it I want to make sure I say them right chocolate chip macadamia nut cookies from the blog called my table of three and uh, I've contacted Carrie and I'm like hey I want to make your cookies because she just came out with these cookie recipes not too long ago and who doesn't love a chocolate chip cookie right and to have it trim healthy mama you know, you got to use a lot of almond flour, so I had to wait to replenish my almond flour, and I've been waiting on making these cookies, so I said, I'm going to do it. But when I got all my ingredients and got home, I realized that it's macadamia nut chocolate chip cookies. I bought cashews. So you know what? I still made them, and they're still good, but I know they would be so much better if they had macadamia nuts in it. So next time I make these, I'm definitely going to be putting macadamia nuts in it. So I would love for you to go ahead and check out the blog, My Table of Three. Carrie has so many recipes that are Trim Healthy Mama friendly. She also homeschools, so she has a little bit about homeschool on her blog. And she also does book reviews and product reviews. So go ahead and check out her blog if you haven't yet. And also she has a channel here on YouTube. So I'll put also a link to her, uh, her blog and to her YouTube channel. She does really great, helpful videos. I believe it comes out on Monday about her weekend prep for her week. Because on the weekends, a lot of what Trim Healthy Mamas do, they do little preps of salads and snacks and desserts on the weekends to get you ready for the busy week. And she shares it in um, her videos. And they're encouraging to see because she, she works her blog. She works a job outside the home and she homeschools her son. So, you know, all the many hats of wife and mother and then you throw job and blogger on top of that. So... Go ahead and check her out and check out her, um, what did I just say they were, the, her, the meal prep Mondays that she has, okay? So, if you want to know whether I like, you probably could already tell if I like the cookies or not, right? Because of the way I'm talking about them. Um, I did enjoy them. Um, the only thing, because I've already made them, and so I'm going to show you at the end me making them, all right? So stay tuned so you can see the video of, you know, me whipping them together. And I'll have a link below to her website to her blog, and to the recipe so you can go check out the exact ingredients so that you can go make the cookies. If you have a chocolate chip cookie recipe for a Trim Healthy Mama that you enjoy making, I would love to know what it is. Maybe I can try that one too, but I really like these cookies. This is the first one that I've made of Trim Healthy Mama cookies, and I just happen to have a few left. Um, the only thing that I did wrong is that they didn't get crunchy. They're soft. All right Here's a cookie right here. I think I made them too big. And so I think she said three cookies is a serving. So I think I made them too big, so I'm going to need to have two cookies for a serving. I guess, I think I just ate three cookies while I was getting ready to do this. <laughs> They're good. So um, it says on her recipe how many how many is a serving. I believe it's two or three. I don't know. I keep second-guessing myself. I don't know what it is. Go check out the recipe, and you'll see for yourself. Um, they do get crispy. It says if you leave them on the baking pan, you could, they crisp up. My first batch, as you'll see, I kind of like burnt the edges a little bit because I cooked them maybe two minutes too long. So I cooked them less the next time, and they didn't get crispy on the edges, but they stayed soft. And I left them on the tray to get crispy, and they did it. So that's the only thing. Now, that's not a problem. I'm not, I'm not taking that as a problem. I just didn't get crispy cookies. I'm fine with these soft cookies because I liked them. Uh, this recipe is really good. I really enjoyed it. It was easy to make. We whipped it up in my mixer, and they were easy to, and quick to bake up. And like I said, I made them bigger than I think. I think it says an inch. Yeah, one inch cookies. I used one of those cookie scoops, and I think that they were bigger than what they were supposed to be because I did not get four and a half dozen. I think I got just over three dozen. And I, I take that because it's, I made them bigger. That's how I accepted that. 
you know, figure that all out. I don't know if that's what it was for or not. All right? Yeah, one inch cookie scoop. I The scoop might have been one inch, but I don't know. It just seemed, these cookies just seem bigger than what they should have been. Is that bigger than what it should have been? Is that the right size? I don't know. They turned out good. I like them. I got no complaints. So anyway, that's the cookie. Uh, I would love for you to go watch the rest of this video so you can see how I made the cookies. And uh, if you have any suggestions for next week's video, I have the rest of this week to um, look up a blogger. And um, just I'm just randomly picking bloggers. I'm not picking them out of favoritism or anything. I'm just randomly picking them. But um, I really wanted to try these cookies. So I was going to do this first, but I had to wait for the weather to cool off. So um, that's it for this. And I'm going to just uh, say goodbye now because you're going to go ahead and watch this video. And I hope that all of you had um, have a great week. And if you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put them down below. I know I haven't asked in a while. I've been praying for a lot of your requests still. So if you have any more, just go ahead and put them down below in the comments. And I hope you enjoy these cookies. Let me know if you're going to make them if, or if you have made them already. Okay? So, oh, and this week, it's the Trim Healthy Mama cookbooks coming out, isn't it? Yes, I'm so excited on Tuesday. Okay, anyway. So I'm going to hold in my excitement. I'm so excited. Enjoy the cookie recipe video coming up next. All right? Bye. So for today, I'm going to be cooking the chocolate chip cookies. Let's get the title right. All right. I'm going to be cooking. You can't see it, can you? The chocolate chip macadamia nut cookies from my table of three. All right. Let's see. My table of three. All right. So I was going to make these last week, but because it was so hot, I decided not to, and now I'm going to make them this week. I've had all the ingredients for a couple weeks now. So I have everything together, and what I'm going to do first is put my sweetener, my butter, and um, I'll have to look at the recipe, something else. All the eggs, I have to get the eggs out in my mixer, and get all that together, and uh, then I'll show you what it looks like. Now the only thing that I did wrong in the ingredients, I bought cashews instead of macadamia nuts. But this is still an S cookie, it's still going to be good with the cashews, but I bought cashews instead of macadamia nuts and then when I got home and realized I was supposed to buy macadamia nuts because I didn't pay attention, I just bought cashews. Um, it's It'll probably be so much better with macadamia nuts, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this because this is what I have, right? I wanted to show you the sweeter sweetener that I'm using because we just got this last night at Sprouts. They had a whole bunch of them marked down to $4, and it's just xylitol and erythritol blended together. So I was so excited. So um, I got one for a friend, and then I got three for us, and that is a steal, as you know, for $4. And um, right here, where is this? The ingredients, erythritol and xylitol. Isn't that exciting? I was just so, I wish I could have bought all of them, but you know, that would have been like $40, but still, it's exciting. So I just wanted to let you know that this is the sweetener that I'm using. You just use whatever you have. If you use the Pure, if you use the Truvia, I believe uh, that Carrie uses uh, Pure in her recipes. But I know a lot of us use uh, either the Trim Healthy Mama sweeteners or Truvia. So you just use whatever you have for your sweetener. So I have the butter and everything all creamed together, and now I'm going to add the flowers. Oops, sorry for the shadow. Alright, so I just added all my flowers. I added um, almond flour, coconut flour, and then the baking powders and stuff. I'm going to mix all this together and incorporate it all together. And then once this is all mixed together, I'm going to add the chocolate chips. Which, look at that, it wasn't it. It didn't take long at all. Oh, I cannot wait to eat these cookies. These are going to be so delicious and hit the spot. Alright, so now I'm going to add my chocolate chips and my nuts. Remember I said I bought the wrong nuts, but it'll still work. Stir these in, and then you got to let your dough go in the fridge for about 30 minutes, and then you can make the cookies. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Alright, so what I did... The recipe calls says to put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. And I just stuck it in the freezer, so I'm going to clean up the Z mess, which is not a big mess. And she's playing with an old phone. She just got up. And uh, by the time I'm done with this, I'll see how it looks. 
and they'll start making the cookies. So I just took it out of the freezer. I did the dishes, ta-da, while I waited. Um, let's see, it's nice and cold. So I only had it in there probably for about 15, 20 minutes in the freezer. So I wanted to rush this. And I am now going to put them on the cookie sheets and cook them at a 350 degree oven. All right, so here are the cookies on the cookie sheet. What I did was I used um, this, I don't know, what do you call it? This ice cream scoop, this cookie ball or whatever it is, cookie scoop. I have them on my tray, and there she is with her phone again. And um, this is how many I have. Picture and I'm going to put these in the that. oven. Go ahead, take a picture of it. I'll put this in the oven. And then we'll wait some time, about 15 or so minutes, and we'll see how they look. Just a minute, let me set the timer, and I will look at you. So these are the finished cookies. These ones here, I thought these were, huh, if I can get this out. These are the finished cookies. And these ones cooked for 16 minutes and they one side of the oven cooked different than the other side of the oven. See the difference in the cookies? I know it's a little dark over here, sorry. But um, they're not burnt, they're just really crispy on the edge, you see that, okay? And I did not make the cookies exactly uniform even though I used the scoop. Because as you can see, these ones are really big. So these are the size of like two cookies. I think the size of the cookie should be about like maybe like this size, okay? Which is, it's supposed to be an inch ball, but I used the scoop and I think the scoop was too big. I think I need to invest in a smaller scoop. I think that would be a good idea. But I'm gonna have two cookies for a serving instead of three because these are, I think a little bit bigger than they should be. But this smells good in my house and I can't wait to eat a couple of these. Now in the recipe it says that they will crisp up and um, it's still warm in my kitchen so they're not really crisping up right now so we'll see what happens. And I'm okay if they don't. The batter tasted good, I licked the batter. Mm. Okay, so I didn't get as enough, um, I did not get the four and a half dozen because I think I made them too big. No, I don't think I know I made them too big. So that's that. That's the cookie. Doesn't that look good? Cashews in it. Look, this one. Where is it? This one here. It's got lots of nuts in it right there. So, there you have it. Mm -hmm.